Now, obviously, if you're the premier and you see these numbers, you look like you're in pretty tough. This guy's been written off before, though, mm -hmm. and he's made history in that province, winning three times in a row. So you want to write this guy off yet? <laughs> Can't write Jean Charest off, but he is in a much more, much weaker position than he's ever been, because now his personal integrity is at stake. Uh, so it's not only you know what his party is doing and what is happening vis-a-vis uh, -vis other parties, but it's really about him as a leader. It's about the trustworthiness of him as a leader. It's about the way people feel in terms of confidence uh, in Jean Charest. Jean Charest has a love-hate relationship with Quebecers. Uh, it goes up and it goes down. Uh, there seems to be something about him that Quebecers are just uneasy about. Uh, and so he has been able to come back. He has been able to make this remarkable third victory in a row, uh, which only Maurice Duplessis was able to do before him. But there is something, I think, inherently about Jean Charest that Quebecers question. What is it? It's hard to put one's finger on it, but there is, there has been suggested that it has something to do with his outsider status. Uh, outsider status meaning that he, in fact, built his career in Ottawa, not in Quebec City. Uh, and it's very difficult to move from Ottawa to Quebec City, and only a few politicians have been able to do that. And the second thing is that he's an outsider in terms of his, his party politics, right? He came from a progressive conservative party, A, that no longer exists, mm -hmm. and B, that really didn't have much of a, a, a grip after 1993 in Quebec.